Hello, all of you being gloriously wonderful people, and welcome back to Cities Skylines, where today we are going to completely decimate a beautiful beach. But don't worry, we have more. We have other beaches, so uh, we don't have to worry about this one too much. He says with great confidence. Uh, the reason we're going to do that is we're eventually going to expand this little town kind of down along the highway. And a little bit in here, we're going to have... Probably some forestry over here, probably a nice oil industry here, probably an ore industry here. Uh, and you're probably thinking, because of the ground cover spread and that doesn't work, and if we look at the resources, you're right, it doesn't, but that's okay, because we have a mod that'll make it work. I can place resources wherever I want. If I want ore here, well, guess what? I can go here, get rid of the, whoop, get rid of the farmland, and boom, now there's ore. So it's that easy. So I don't have to really worry about where my resources are um we do have a lot of ore over here in these mountains but i really don't want to destroy the beauty of the mountains uh plus i kind of thinking we might try to get a little community up here or maybe something terraced possibly i don't know uh but i want to prepare this area for cargo uh, i think this is a lovely place for cargo the only thing is with this beach it's a lot lower than everything else. So I, I think that the play here is going to be, I don't know, maybe controversial. First of all, I want to see how much my elevation actually changes between here and the beach. To do that, we're just going to do that. And it's pretty insignificant, honestly. I mean, that's... This was, we didn't do this. We didn't level this. And this is about the same level. So we could flatten a huge amount of this area. And you would think, especially oil, would have the money to come in and do that. Agriculture, maybe not so much. But hey, we already have a farm. Um, which is doing quite well. Um, it's making us a little bit of cash. Airport, looking great. Uh, we I have renamed it Westwood International Airport. It has served uh, half a million people. Um, and we've got 96 active flights, so it's, it's doing well and we can ignore it. So today is going to be all about prepping this area over here. And I think, like I said, we're just going to obliterate the beach. Um, I think I'm just going to come in here, get this leveled out fairly straight. Just go right across like that ish. That works for now, or it should. Um, is the water going to protest that I just did that? And we'll make this look a little better. It's not going to be just this cliff here. We're going to put a key wall in and all that stuff. Surprisingly, the water is fine with what I just did. We're also going to have fishing industry. Um, so we'll probably wind up cutting this corner and coming this way. Um, and we may do the fishing industry today. I don't know. It just depends on how long it takes me to get this right. Uh, if I get it right on the first try, then, you know, we're good to go. I think I'm just going to go with the basic key wall here. Uh, I don't think we need anything fancier. So I'm going to just start here and drag this to here. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. And boom, key wall. Done. Uh, let's see how far in I would want this to go. I'm surprised it's letting me... I think I have the key anarchy mod, and that's what's letting me do this. I'm, like, uh, I'm really surprised that it's that it's okay with what I'm doing right now. Is this not enough for road guidelines? It's not... Um, it's not close enough, so... Because I want this to be at a 90. I want it to look nice. I want it to be pretty. So it's going to connect about here okay so we'll do that and then we will come at a 90 can i have a 90 can i have a 90 there's a 90 boom like that done now this is going to greatly disturb the water i'm sure uh so let's let's prepare a little bit more of the ground level somehow i know i messed up the coast it's okay we will fix it and we're just going to decimate over here and we'll smooth that out later. And then we're going to make sure this is, let's just, let's just do it. Let's just get rid of all this right now. Controversial possibly, but it wasn't that 
much terrain in the first place. And then I'm going to grab this level. And this is where the water is going to start getting very unhappy with us. I'm going to bring this back to here. All the way across. Yeah, water's already very unhappy. He's sloshing about there. And all the way to over here. And then we'll clean up around the edges with a much smaller brush. Come in here and just bump this back. And now water's really protesting. It's just like, hey, you can't do this. And I'm like, yeah, you ever heard of dredging? This is dredging on steroids that wasn't happy with the results and started taking like triple the dose every day. Uh, so the dredgery has very small testicles, but it's very powerful. Um, you know, so dredgery is, is that, is that the word? I don't, I don't think that's right at all, but I don't know. I'm not really familiar with, you know, the dredging industry, not something I, uh, have experience with. Imagine that some guy who sits on his butt and plays video games all day. Uh, cool. So let's get rid of these trees because they'll eventually drown anyway and just become ugly little sticks. There we go. Clean up those trees and that should be that. The only other thing is the surface painter. Give me grass. Ugh. I don't really know how to get rid of the sand color here. I think that's just like in the map file. I kind of thought it would just go away when I elevated it. I, I was clearly wrong because it's down here. And I, I don't know what to do to fix that. If you know, please leave a comment down below. And I will I will do it and, and give you credit. So I want to make sure this is all now the same level. So we're going to start grabbing nodes. Hold down shift. And just go node by node. Come on, there we go, by node. By, ooh, by node, by node. Oh, come on, there we go. And like that, and then we're gonna come over here, skip that one, because that's the one we're gonna level everything to. There's just one there, yep. Grab all of these. And, Come back over here to the one that I want them leveled to. Control H, that has them all selected. Tells it we're going to level to that height and it should have done. Does that, look, does that look nice and flat? It should have been pretty flat to begin with because of what we did with the terrain. I was thinking maybe even doing cruise ships and all that, but we can do that over here somewhere uh, where our tourism industry is gonna be. Um, I'm pretty sure there's shipping routes over here. Yeah, there's shipping routes over here as well as over here, which is why we're doing this one right now. Uh, so first things first, we want to get in a cargo harbor and I kind of want it. Oh no, I want the cargo hub. Oh, I've got to get more people to get that. Well, okay then. Uh, <laughs> I didn't realize that. Yeah, see there's boats. Uh, they, they're definitely in there. I know I spun that around really quick. Let's, uh, let's, let's soften our train back out here so we don't have such an ugly scar from where I pushed everything back. And there, yeah, I really don't know what to do to change the color of that. It's not a resource doing it, is it? Nope, not a resource doing it. Though there are a lot of trees over here. So yeah, I'm not really sh Ooh, ooh, idea. What if... That doesn't do it either. Okay. I, I thought for a minute there that the ore had uh, changed like a little bit here, but then I, as I did it, I saw that shadow there anyway. And I realized, nope, that's just where the beach was. Well, okay. Well, that was my plan for the video. So thanks for watching. Uh, no, I, I was going to build out the docks and start laying out roads and all that, but I, I wanted to start with the dock and go from there because. I want to see where it's going to hug up against 
the ground or up against the key wall. And without that information, uh, you know, not very useful. Uh, whatever. Oh, it's fine. We'll go ahead and try to get the trains running over that way, which might be a bit of a challenge. How steep is this right here? It gets pretty steep pretty quick. Um, I really hate to keep terraforming like this, but I'm going to do it. I need, I need more space than what we currently have. I'm going to take a chunk out of this. And it's not that I need space for the rail. I need space for an intersection, basically. Because uh, I don't want to immediately have the train turning here because we could wind up with traffic problems. I kind of like to have a decent little gap that can hold at least one whole train there. So we're going to come off here. Uh, and with this curve, it's going to be a little trickier than what I'm used to doing, but I think I can make it work. So I'm going to give myself a little guideline to work with here. Which I want to take that back to there. And then I want to bring this down. That is now lined up quite nicely. I want to bring this across to about there. And then continue this this way and then in like that. And then I want to do roughly the same thing on this side, but over here it's going to require anarchy because it doesn't want to overlap tracks up there at the connection. And then I can turn the other key back off, put this in, and go up here. And it's, it's done a little bit of ugliness, but usually all you have to do is just grab one side of the track or the other with move it, and it's fine. It just I, I didn't really move it. I just kind of touched it a little bit, and, and it was fine. So now I want to get my train running parallel to the airport here. So let's aim, yeah, let's aim for right there. It's pretty far back, but whatever. And that's fine for now. And then let's get these two connected up. Like so, and is that still uh, fine? Yeah, that's still fine. So we can have trains coming that way. We can have trains coming this way. And we will run that over somewhere that direction. Though it's something just occurred to me. And I, it, it, it may be something that causes me to change where we put the fishing harbor. Because if I have the train coming in down here, because the, the cargo hub has train tracks, but they're their water side train tracks. I don't think this one has them. No, it doesn't. Uh, but out here on the side that the crane's currently facing on the cargo hub, there's railroad tracks. So I would want to have my train coming in this way uh, and out over the water and connecting. Like We're going to shove it right up in the corner there. Um, so I guess we just put fishing industry down here. Or we could even put this here and bring the train tracks right down this way. Uh, though I'd prefer for this to be more centrally located, but we may wind up with it shoved in the corner. But for now, let's just get the railroad over this direction, roughly. It'll just terminate for now. I'm just going to bring it over so that it's over here. And then once we have the hub in, we can figure out where the train's going to go from there. So... That's all nice and flat. We know that's all pretty much one level, so I don't need to do any sloping on the railroad. But I would like to just make this look not so ugly here. Here, so we'll just come in with the smooth tool, and now it looks like you know millennia upon millennia of erosion has just naturally done that, and not that some idiot with a train tool. So, <laughs> that, that gets that going. So, that means we uh, have a whole lot more to do to get it, what was it, 48,000? Is that what it was? 48,000 people, which just happens to be our next milestone, right? Yep. 
uh, which will also get us helicopters, nuclear power plants, floating cafes, ocean thermal energy conversion plant. That might be something we could out, do out there on that industry dock as well. And then helicopters. I really don't use helicopters just because of the way uh, the citizens of the game like to assign hierarchy. Uh, I, I don't care for the congestion that it causes. So I don't really mess with them. That's still the uh, smooth tool. And I want the flatten tool. I just want to see. I can always undo this if I don't like it. I just want to bring this out a little closer to the water's edge. And by a little closer, I mean a whole lot closer. Right about like that. And just see what I think about it. I think I'm okay with, with that. What if, what if, what if, what if, I then come in here and just soften this out. And then maybe we can get a road down here, kind of at this beach level. So then if I come in with an even smaller brush and grab, say, right there on that line and level this off, when is that going to give us? Maybe a slightly bigger brush than that. Also, maybe a slightly harder edge than that. Just kind of follow this shoreline here. It's not making it as smooth as I'd like. It's kind of doing these weird bubbly things at me. I want to get at least room for one row of housing down here. And maybe even some shops. So I like a little shop. Sorry, I've been binging uh, Doctor Who. Which I really should apologize for. You should apologize if you don't watch Doctor Who. Doctor Who is amazing. Uh, though not the Chris Chip Nolans. And it has nothing to do with the Doctor being a woman. It has everything to do with the fact Chris Chip Nolan couldn't write his way out of a cardboard box. He has been a bad showrunner. Um, which is really sad because I was really looking forward to having a female Doctor. Uh, and Jodie Whittaker is a fantastic actor. And so it's just sad that she wasn't given a better shot. Why is it not getting rid of these little bumps here at the end? Or why is it creating these little bumps at the end, I guess, would be a better question. And they just won't go away. Hmm. Oh, well. Uh, so that's a bit tiered, but that's okay. So let's just do... Let's just extend this little neighborhood down to here. We could probably get near to our... Uh, Population goal if we do all high density. Oh. Well, uh, instead, we are going to put everybody into the shelters and uh, we're going to wait just a moment while the tornado arrives. Oh, the, the thunder clouds are rolling in. I was say, it's an awful clear day to have a tornado, but nope, the clouds are rolling in and there's our tornado. <gasps> Is this. A tornado has touched down in the area. I really thought that was blue for a minute. I don't know if you guys have ever seen a chirp nato. But uh, they're pretty cool. Uh, it's a bright blue tornado with little chirper birds flying around it. And it makes things better. It doesn't destroy any things. It upgrades houses. And it's, it's really freaking awesome. Um, I don't think this has any danger of hitting the city proper. So even though it's here... I'm going to gamble, and I'm going to let everybody out of uh, their disaster shelters. I think this is just going to play around out here by the coast, and that's all it's ever going to do. It is pretty, though. I mean, tornadoes are horribly destructive things, but they're also actually... They're very beautiful. Like a lot of nature. Beautiful, but fierce. Um, or fearsome, however you want to look at that. All right, so uh, back to uh, ignoring the tornado. It's just, it's just gonna do its thing off in the distance over there. Oh my god! Tell me that's just not a terrifying view. Everybody comes out of the disaster shelter like, um, I still see a tornado. We're also lagging very badly for reasons that we don't understand. 
No, it's when I look at the tornado in the distance. Yeah. Or not. Oh, no, is the game going to crash? Please don't crash game. There we go. We're fine. Look at the tornado again. And... Okay. We, we seem to be okay. This is the happiest day of my life. Graduation. Oh, that makes me sad. I lived... Uh, Oh, it's still being laggy. I live not too far, lived, did not live, uh, too far from Joplin, Missouri. It's about an hour uh, back when that disaster occurred. Um, and it breaks my heart every time I think about it because um, the day of the tornado was high school graduation for their town. And, like, the tornado touched down right around the same time as graduation commencement was ending. Um, yeah, very sad. There's there's a lot of very sad stories that go along with that, too. Um, yay, let's talk about happy things. Uh, that dips down, yes. Tornado? Oh, tornado's done. Let's see what kind of damage tornado did. Congratulations! The city did not suffer any damage, other than economic and a lot of crime. Um, putting everybody into disaster shelters always, always hurts the city. But it's good because it preserves your population for the most part if they've had time to get in the shelters. Which we do have shelters. I'm just kind of going around and seeing if anybody's still living in shelters. Um, but they're teeny tiny, so they're kind of hard to see. It looks like, looks like we did all right. Oh, there's a big one. Uh, one dude hanging out in there. He's like, you know, this shelter's kind of nice. It's nice in my crappy apartment. You know, and so they're just going to stay there. Good for them. Uh, I'm not going to kick him out. So let's go another 4080 here. And we'll just let this collector just stop. Collectors sometimes do that. I know I've lived places where collectors do that. So that's what we're going to do here. And then what is the distance here to here? 960. And it is a distance away. It's probably just one full. Yeah. It's like this. So can I have 960? Not 1020. Look, 960. 840. 960. Oh. Fine. We're turn that off and get 960 ourselves. We don't need you. And then I bet they go 900. Whoops. And I'll go sideways. Yes, yeah, so I'm just continuing the boring grid. No, this entire city is not going to be a boring grid. But over here it is. And then 900. And then this should be 960. Look at that. It's like I knew it was going to happen. So then we can come in here. Bring all these down. We'll make this. And like this. That and then just come through where the grid connects, or where not the grid connects, it's probably not the best way to phrase that. Where it fills everything in with the most density possible. This would probably be some pretty valuable land to have down here by the water, uh, right off of downtown, pretty close to a major transportation network, a.k.a. the train, which, where is the train? I forget where the train is. It's right here, isn't it? Yeah, right there. Um, is that all the... No, there's a bus hub there, though. Okay, so I'm pretty sure there's a bus. Uh, where does our metro go? Do we have a metro? We do. It just only goes right now to, like, pings between the train station and... Well, bus station to bus station, basically. Uh, I don't even think it goes out to the airport, does it? No, only rail goes out to the airport, which we might keep it that way. So let's get our final little bit done here. What I want to do down here is bring a road. I'm going to turn off all my snap twos. Bring a small little road in here. Down this hill. Maybe I want angle. Like right in here, and then I'm gonna bring it right to wherever it's gonna have zoning right along the shore. For the most part. Uh, 
I'm not gonna be able to follow that exactly all the time, I don't think. But I think I'll be able to get it pretty close. It's gonna be a very curvy road, but shorelines can be very curvy. So it's okay that it's a curvy road. And then we're gonna just bring it up here. Uh, I want my road guidelines back, please. And it's just gonna go like that into the collector, but then we'll probably wind up having something other than that happening, or maybe we might just turn this into a local road. We'll see. We're about to uh, expand this out a little bit. Let's go ahead and turn all these back on. And hide that. We don't need that. So we want to come out 660. And then bring this across. And we'll figure out how to connect it up into these other areas in a moment. There we go. So we've got a few opportunities to connect. Like, I could go ahead and connect to this, but I don't like how that hangs out over. Or maybe I'm okay with it. I don't think I'm okay with it. I really only want to zone mostly this side. If there's some zoning on this side, so be it. Uh, but my main priority is this side. You know, I think I'm just going to be okay with that. But we do need connections through here. Connectivity is important. You want to definitely give people multiple ways to get through. Especially emergency services. Man, that's, that, that one's tough right there. Let's see. Does that work? Yeah, sure, why not? Um, sometimes you've got to say, sure, why not? And then let's do a connection here. Hopefully the slope on that's not too bad. Uh, I've, I've seen worse. Where I live has way worse. I live in a, a mountain this area. Not big mountains, not like Rocky Mountains, you know, nothing like that, but it, mountains nonetheless. Um, and we have some, some pretty steep hills as a result. Which, you know, if your car doesn't have hill hold assist, can be terrifying when somebody pulls right up on your bumper and you're like, dude, I don't want to roll back into you. I don't want to have an accident today. I don't want to file an insurance claim. What do you mean, space already occupied? What? Well, yeah, I know. I'm trying to connect to it. The... Oh, there's a node there. Okay, well. Okay, look. Look, friend. There. Whatever. Just be at a funky angle. All your friends are going to point and laugh at you for being the outlier. Which is wrong. Don't bully people because they're different. Bad pipes. Or don't bully pipes because they're different. Yeah, that, that kind of that metaphor kind of fell apart, didn't it? Whatever. We're just going to follow this shoreline drive. In fact, we may name this shoreline drive. I think that's a splendid name for it. And around like that should have everything covered. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's rename this. Let's make Hickory Street shoreline drive by the way i know that we don't have a huge backstory for this city we've got a little bit of one uh but the the city i've been building in my live streams man we have come up with an amazing story for that area um so make sure you turn it in twitch.tv forward slash vainglorious gaming because some cool stuff's been happening this is all low density and I don't see any problem with continuing low density here. Man, that's just not a very nice view that they have, is it? It really isn't. Um, but oh well. Airport was there first. Land value is a lot lower than I expected right here. Here it's nice and high. But here I expected it to be more. I want, It can't possibly be taking that into account. Because see, even along the shore over here, right underneath, it's nice and high. Is that just up too high? I don't know. Let's get some emergency services and other services in here. Like, you know, a post office. Uh, we are going to go for some larger buildings uh, and then some smaller buildings. Actually, looks like the small boys might get it done today. Uh, so let's give ourselves 
a way to bring out our dead. So we've got coverage from our elder care facility up there, but I would like coverage down here as well. So we're going to put that right there, uh, just off of that collector. Same probably with childcare. Yeah, it's way back there. So we're going to put that here, and then we'll try to get schools next to it. It kind of makes sense if it's childcare. Then, you know, your kid would get out of school and go to, uh, like, a, an after-school facility. You know, just until you got off work to come pick them up. And then some of uh, the popo. And that gets all of those basic services in. We will need schools over here. We've got one, two, three elementary schools over there. Let's go with the, um, the community schools in this area. Slightly lower capacity, but... And I think since we're going to go low density, too, we'll be fine. Let's get these kiddos some playgrounds. And I'm going to go large playgrounds over here. Because I like the large playgrounds. And then we probably will need high school for this area. There's one, two high schools there. Now, we probably actually don't need a high school, but they're getting a high school anyway. And we're going to make a little bit of a complex out of this. Um, we are going to give the high school its own... Uh, swimming pool and then I like to bump this right next to the uh, sports hall and gymnasium so at least it kind of looks like you could come out of there and get to the pool even though they are technically two separate things and then behind the high school you know what that's not the high school I wanted to build bye bye I wanted this high school yeah, that's the one. That's the ticket. And then to finish off, just the idea of a place for fitness to be healthy. We're going to plop those duders right there. Basketball court and volleyball court. So, you know, the team or the high school can have a couple different teams. Um, I wish there was like a small little football thing that like just took up two tiles. I have some American football. But it's big. It's very big. Um, where is it even? Let's look and see how big it is. Let's see. There it is. You know what? It does take up just two tiles, though. I mean, ask and you shall freaking receive, right? Yeah, let's do it. Wait, was that soccer I was just looking at? No, it was, no, it was football. Let's give them a football stadium, too. And then clicks on the soccer stadium again. There we go. That is a nice little high school campus. And then we have some more public school land over there. And then just to round it out, since we've got, I said put the child care health facility next to the school, then didn't do it. There we go. Um, we've got this lovely facility here for education and, and well-being. Let's do something I never do. Let's build a library. Um, let's put it more up here, a little more centrally located. I never build the library. But would we really want a library across from a football stadium? Library would probably be closed at night in a small community like this. And then we would have, you know, football games at night. But yeah, I'm not so happy about that. So instead, we're going to move it up here away. Maybe, maybe by this elementary school that's up here by itself. Cool. So I'm going to get this zoned in, and then we will uh, wrap it up and see what we get. But first, I'm also going to finish the district. So a little bit of a sped up footage here, and I'll be back with you in just a moment.
And we don't have a huge amount of residential development happening, uh, simply because there's not a huge residential demand. But before we go today, I want to do a couple final little things once I click the right button here. I want to throw in a fishing pier here. We're going to reorient that. And then I also want to throw in the restaurant pier. But isn't there like a floating cafe somewhere? I may not have it re-unlocked yet. Um, I think it's just called floating cafe. I do you know if it's Fishing Island. Oh, maybe we should do the Fishing Island instead. Nah. Yeah, Floating Cafe. Got to reach a population of 48,000. I haven't done that in this map. I had all this stuff unlocked. Hey, oh, life boy. Neat. Um, like all the, the unique buildings and everything. But then when I reinstalled the game, it, uh, well, that, that all went away. Anything in these that I have that would look cool down by the water's edge that's not going to draw too many people down here not really so we will stick with the plan then and go with our floating cafe and I'm going to reorient these just a little bit using move it uh wow even though it has no road connection people are still able to drive there it's magic we're going to put that right like that we're going to bring this right here like this and then we're just going to run out a little stub of a road. I'm going to leave just angle on and oops, wanted that straight and bring that road right to the edge there. That way they stop complaining about not having road access. Uh, they both have water, so you have water, yeah? Yeah, you have water. And then down here, we're going to have mainly homes, uh, but I want to be more thoughtful about the zoning here because I don't want them creating weird, ugly things. But closer to these uh, destinations and parks, we're going to do just a little bit of commercial uh, just to kind of act as a natural. Yeah, I don't know. They, they seem to go hand in hand. So we will do some zoning on this side where it's not going to eat into that cliff. And it is a bit of a cliff, but I'm, I'm okay with a bit of a cliff. Um, just get all of these zoned in real quick. And the only ones I want to get rid of are right here. I just realized that's kind of on a steep incline and there's no purpose in zoning there because they'll create weird things. So we do have a couple issues in the city. I noticed while we were uh, waiting, we had a lot... Oh, well, that's just food for those guys now. They'll eventually get that. We had a lot of commerce or commercial that was complaining about not enough goods to sell. But it looks like for the most part, that's chilled out. Oh, you just want to abandon. Um, let's take a real quick look at our imports and exports. We are importing quite a bit, so we're going to need to get some more basic industry in here as well. We only have... A small section of industry, I think, in the entire town. Yeah, that's it. And then our farm out here, which has some generic farm industry zoned, but it hasn't grown in yet because we haven't had any demand for it. Uh, hopefully that will change as citizens start moving in over here. Um, doesn't look like we're going to quite reach our population goal, though, with this area. So we'll have to do a little bit more work before we can transition back over. But I think we're in a good place for now. So until next time, I'm Brandon reminding you to stay vainglorious.